Okay, it's 12.20 and we're just starting our Christmas Eve dinner. Show me what you got, Eddie. Show me your goods. Look, it's ready. It's not ready. Yum, yum. What's in there? Celery, turkey, uh, butter, uh, everything but the bagel, and some uh, thyme, and... Potatoes? No potatoes yet. And uh, celery. Did I say celery? Oh, lemon. Yeah, did you also say butter? A glob of butter. Just kidding, just maybe like that much. Okay, I'm about to make some poached eggs microwave style. So all microwaves vary a little bit and I'm still perfecting this. But I'm using this small cup and I guess first of all we're going to fill it halfway with water. So half full of water. I'm going to crack the egg in and cook for about 45 seconds. Okay, there's how my first egg turned out. It's mostly, it's just a little firm. So I'm gonna do one more egg. That was 45 seconds. I'm gonna do one more egg with a cool cup. So I'm not using the same cup because it would affect the temperature. So I'm gonna do another egg, another cup, and I'm gonna do 40 seconds this time. Okay, here's my second egg. So it's Pretty good, pretty good. That would gross Eddie's mom out, so looks like a winner for me. Okay, here's a fact I bet you guys did not know because I didn't know this. I didn't think to look up, I mean, I, I would not have thought to look up smart points on spices, and I'm so sorry. I can't remember the name of the person who pointed this out to me, but thank you a million times over because if you use more than a quarter teaspoon of everything but the bagel sesame seasoning there is a point included yes who would have thought but usually i mean i pretty much don't overdo it on this i'm gonna add a little little more but be careful guys a quarter teaspoon zero points anything over a quarter has points is that what else down there yeah eddie and abby are flying drones they're actually drone racers, and it looks like looks like Abby's got a better hand on hers than Eddie does. I don't even know where Eddie's is. She's over there, so maybe she's going to find it. Looks like a big spider. Ah! <laughs> Again, again. Whose is the black one? Yours, Abby? No. Oh, this is yours, Abby? I thought this is Abby's. Oh, I can't even see it. Don't crash it on me. Crash it on Mick. Rude. Let it let it hover over by Mick. Oh, you can't even control it that <laughs> well, can you? That's what bring it back to hover over my head. <laughs> is so. yours working, Abby? Cool, oh, isn't yeah. it? Whoa, there you go. Ah. Uh... Not the glass app. Oh, <laughs> wrong. Oh. <laughs> At least you got the one. Well. I how to do this. Crash and burn. Crash and burn. Um, spruce. I hope not. This is one of the bigger cabins. We're going to get this one next time. That would be nice. Eddie would grill some stuff up for us. Abby's is dead. Now, Abby, now! <laughs> Do it now! Oh! <laughs> that went really far. Oh! Abby, which way is it supposed to go? There it is. It's dead. Abby, no, you're going to kill this now, Abigail. <laughs> You're the one that has to go walk and get it. <laughs> Good morning everyone and happy Christmas Eve. It is probably about 12.30, maybe 1 o'clock now. I am just heading out for my run. Here's how my morning has gone so far. I slept and laid in bed until 11.30. It was awesome. <laughs> I literally just had some eggs. Those poached eggs were heaven. I think I've nailed the secret. I think probably 40 seconds in any microwave is golden. And now I'm about to head out for a run. I feel like 
I caught a cold this morning and I also have this really horrible, horrible stomach pain in my upper stomach. So it's, <laughs> I'm hurting right now. Um, but I'm not gonna let it get me down. I'm not going to make it keep me down. I'm gonna live life and get going anyway. So I'm gonna head out for a run. I think I'm gonna do, I would like to do six miles. So um, as long as my stomach isn't hurting too bad and um, my legs hold up, I think I'm gonna try for six miles. So I'm actually excited because I love running in new areas and exploring. And this is the view I have behind me, which is beautiful so I'm gonna go for a nice run my Fitbit is totally dead but I will uh, count my steps on my phone and see you in a while Okay, you guys, I decided to go 10 miles. <laughs> so I'm right at the halfway point. I'm at five miles. Pausing workout. It's really, really beautiful out here. It's pretty windy too, so I hope you can hear me. Um, yeah, I decided to go 10 miles, so it's so beautiful. I never get a chance to run outside and I actually have the time too. I mean, that's a huge factor as well, so. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Runner problems. <laughs> so here I am five miles out in the middle of nowhere. It's awesome. And now I gotta go back and I got a lot of hills, so. But I'm super glad that I had the time to get this run in because I've been trying to do a 10 mile run for like over a week now. And I really need it to help with my training for the half marathon, which is in, I think, either three or four weeks. So it's coming up really fast and I need to prepare myself at least a little bit. I'm pretty sure if I had to just go out and run 13 miles, I could do it, but it'd be better to do it with some training so that I don't get injured or hurt. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna finish up, go up all these hills all the way back to the campground and I'll see you later. Okay, 10.38 miles. I am beat. And I feel like my eyes are swollen. My legs are sore. My lungs hurt. <coughs> but I'm done. 10.38 miles. Okay, here's my public service announcement for the day. This is the Jolly Time bag that is three smart points. Not the big one. Just so you know. Be informed like I was. Just a little size class. Nick is opening the Menage a Trois. What is this? Gold. Gold Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Nick is hooked on Menage a Trois and she's kind of ruining me because now I love it too. My favorite is the Menage a Trois Silk. Can you give me a little bit? Yeah. Ooh, Eddie's mom's gonna try it. 
So my favorite is the menage a trois silk, which tastes like black cherry. It's so delicious. But for dinner tonight, or I guess before dinner, because it's not dinner time, we are going to try the menage a trois gold. I'll let you know what it tastes like in just a minute. There we go, menage a trois gold. So Meg has grown up a little bit and she's decided that she's not into boxed wine anymore. And she's kind of... Oh, oh she got old and boxed wine doesn't like her. Okay, that's a good reason too. But she loves menage a trois. And um, I've always loved menage a trois, but it's on the higher end of expensive for me because as you guys know, I usually go, if I'm not doing boxed wine, I do the champagne, which is $4.99, or I go to Trader Joe's for several of their $3.99 wines. Mick does menage a trois, which she says she can find at Walmart for $8. That's not bad. It's not bad for good wine. Menage a trois is typically all the menage a trois I've, I've ever had is pretty good. So I generally don't drink white wine at all. This is Chardonnay, which I haven't drank for years. I actually started drinking Chardonnay because you want to start with a lighter white wine before you dive into the reds because you won't like reds at first, I promise you. Wine is definitely an acquired taste. So this is Chardonnay and it smells very definitely like Chardonnay. It's very, um, I want to say buttery, but I think that's only because everybody describes Chardonnay as buttery. So let me just taste it. Wow. It's smooth, isn't it? It's smooth, but it's fruity. It's not sweet, but it's not dry. Yeah, it's not sweet, but it's not dry. It's smooth, but it's not, you can taste the alcohol, but it's not like, ooh, that's a lot of alcohol. That's really interesting because, let me try again. I literally have not had Chardonnay in years and I think it's because it tastes so much like alcohol most of the time, like it's just very bold, very strong. This one, like Mick says, it's not, it's not too, it's not too bold, but it's not too, I can't stand sweet and fruity, that's like too much. But it has just enough of the fruit notes. That's what it is. It's not sweet, it's not dry. Yeah. It's right in the middle. There's nothing that is like bitter. There's no bitterness. Sometimes the Chardonnay can have like too much dryness to it. Do you taste butter? Because you know how everybody describes Chardonnay as butter. I don't taste butter, but I taste it's a little fruity, a little tart, but not really. It's perfect. Yeah, it is. It's not. It's really good. I am sold on menage a trois. Thanks a lot, Mick, because Eddie's going to be mad at you when my wine budget goes up. Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. Here's my awesome Christmas Eve plate. So I have uh, corn, zero smart points. I have mashed potatoes. Those are real mashed potatoes. Um, Eddie's mom made them. I think a half half cup of mashed potatoes is I don't remember I have the Heinz fat-free gravy a uh, quarter cup is zero smart points this is some stuffing that Eddie's mom made and I will probably just count the regular whatever it says on the tracker for stuffing I have about half a cup um, because she added cranberries almonds celery onion and it was a stuffing mix very carrots. very delicious carrots carrots too and then this is Walnuts, the, the almonds. almonds, yep, got the almonds. Remember. This is the turkey breast that Eddie put in the crock pot for zero smart points. And my cranberry um, cranberry sauce on the top for zero smart points. So the turkey and cranberry, zero. And over here is my cheese plate. <laughs> I have the Trader Joe's mini brie for three smart points. This is the goat's cheese with almond from Trader Joe's not almond goat's cheese honey. From, with honey um i don't even know what the smart points are but it's amazing and then i have the um trader joe's fig and olive and trader joe's rosemary and raisin 
And then there is the Menage a Trois Gold Cranberry. That is my dinner for Christmas Eve. Nick and Abby. Hi, Abby. Abby's eating ramen noodles. <laughs> Let's check this out. Are they good? Uh, from a package? Yeah. What flavor? Chicken? Chicken. Chicken flavor ramen noodles for Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas to you, Abby Almanza. <laughs> she likes them. There's Mick, Abby's mom. She likes her plate because it's almost gone. And there's Eddie, who's eating nothing. Good night, Eddie. Oh, good night. I think he'll eat something eventually, but he's been sleeping for a couple hours, so... Whatever, it's Christmas. We don't have to do anything if we don't want to, right? That's right. What do you want to do today? Nothing. All right, there you go. Eddie's doing nothing. Okay. Oh, great. No, pick up that one and take it to your. Take pick up yeah, your. Yeah, take it on lift. Yeah, we're lighting it off from that one. That'll be easier. Cause we're all family. I'm up. Okay. Grab a candle and light one. Oh, Eddie. Merry Christmas Eve, everyone! We just opened something really awesome. It's from the Something Store. Everything is $10. Everything is $10. The catch is you don't know what you're gonna get. So we literally ordered five items from the Something Store. They were delivered very promptly, I think within two or three days. And we have five people here and we all opened our gifts. What's eerie and super weird is that there is something here for everyone. It's very crazy. So let me Cheese go. kit. Okay, what'd you get? I got the cheese kit. Cheese kit? I got silver earrings. Silver Ooh, earrings? Oh, and then it was me. I got a Superman wallet. Okay. I got some flutes. And Abby? A watch. A watch. Okay, the weird thing is if we shift everything by one person, if we were all in a circle and we shift everything one person around, it's the perfect gift for everyone. Let's do this again. Okay, well, what, what do you have now? I got earrings. Do you like earrings? I like earrings. Ah, what do you have? I got a watch. I'm always punctual. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got the cheese knife. Okay, the cheese knives. Eat. Perfect. I got Just the perfect. Superman wallet. What'd you get? The Superman wallet. <laughs> What'd you get, Abby? Flute. Play it for us. Abby's the musician, so not only did she know what it actually is, she can play If you it. guys need a perfect gift, we totally recommend the Something Store. This was for Christmas, but I mean, you could do it for birthdays or whatever. That was fun. That was totally fun. Everything is $10, and every gift is guaranteed to be valued at at least $10.